Hi, and welcome to Stand 1601, here with Saba at HR Tech in Las Vegas 2017. And I'm here with the one and only Laurie. Hi. Laurie, thank you for joining us. Um, what have you seen at the show that really excites you? Well, I've seen a lot of food, and so that's really exciting. A lot of snacks and also swag. I love, love that, yeah. What's your favorite swag? What have you got? Well, I love my Saba t-shirt. Aren't they the best? Yeah, they actually are. I got one for my husband. He cuts the grass while wearing t-shirts, like vendor t-shirts. So thank you. Yeah. Wow, excellent. Well, I have three of those t-shirts at home, and they're super good for the gym and for bed. So, sharing. So, what are some of the themes that you've learned this last few days? Well, I've really enjoyed uh, a renewed focus on employees. You know, for a lot of years, especially with the Great Recession, it was all about cost containment and cost-cutting measures. And now we're actually investing in the employee again, and that's kind of refreshing. So, training, development, careers, maybe not so much salary, but we'll get there at some point, hopefully, if we can hold on to a good economy, fingers crossed. But yeah, I like the renewed focus on the employee experience. And is that coming from investment into the wider thing that makes them feel like loyal, engaged employees? Or do you think is it more granular? What, 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 are, what are some of the key takeaways? Well, you know, I think there are just more people in the world and in the workforce right now. And so I think there's um, kind of a groundswell that's focused on making sure the employee experience is like the customer experience. So the two are starting to overlap. And if people hate their jobs, they're going to tell other people about it. And so there's this kind of ethos now where maybe we should treat our employees like customers and not like dogs. Unbelievable. Groundbreaking news coming here from HR yeah. Tech. Do you know one question that I didn't think I was going to ask you, but here I am. What's the one thing you haven't seen people talk about here that you thought was a big issue? Is there anything that you think there's an elephant in the room that HR Tech, that we as an industry got to think for the, about for the next 12 months? You know, we're talking a lot about diversity and inclusion, but we don't talk about politics. And uh, I believe HR sits at the intersection of work, power, politics, and money. And politics is completely absent from this event, even though it's everywhere in our world. So, hey, HR people can get a little braver and have an opinion. That would I, I think you're right. And I'm from Northern Ireland, literally the home of politics. So, um, conflict, a lot of Exactly, conflict. yeah. Literally, we're a nation built on hate. Thank you for joining us here at HR Tech. Laurie, we really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks, bye. Uh, and we'll see you again soon. Come and see us at the Sabastan 1601 with my sister from another mister. It's Laurie.